Hello, my name is Bo Wenyu, and I'm going to present the solution to the problem word letter. A word letter is a sequence of same length words so that each pair of consecutive words differ by exactly one letter. In this task, we are going to construct a word letter of length n, where n is up to 5000. This means we want to find n words. The requirement is that from our first word to our last word, there should exist no shorter word letter other than the letters that uses all of our words. You can choose words that have at most 10 lowercase letters. In the example of n equals to 5, an answer is provided in the sample. There are many possible solutions to this problem. Here, we will go over three types of solutions. The first type is based on the idea of gray code construction. Gray code is an ordering of the binary numeral system such as two successive values differ by exactly one bit. This is almost the same definition as our word letter definition, except that we are using letters and gray code is using bits. So how do we construct gray code then? We will first construct gray code of lens k, and then we will extend them to lens k, k plus one. Let's take a look at the example in the slide. Suppose we have already constructed gray code of lens two, which have four strings, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. We will reverse the order of these strings, which means 1, 0 now goes first, followed by 1, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 0. We have two groups of strings. For the first group, we will prepend to each string a digit 0. For the second group, we will prepend to each string a digit 1. After that, we will concatenate all those strings. You can verify that the resulting eight strings a valid gray code of length 3. So we can repeat this process until we have gray code of length 10. To make gray code construction work for our problem, we will simply replace the bits by letters. We will only need five pairs of letters to construct 5,000 words, up to letters i and j. Each pair of letter will give us one batch of 1,024 words. Between two batches, we will need to modify one letter at a time to make the transition. For example, the last word in our first batch is going to be 1b plus 9as, and we want to make a transition to 10cs, which is the first word of our second batch. We will just first change b to c, and then change the first a to c, the second a to c, and so on. You may verify that the, inter the intermediate strings that we obtain here will also satisfy the word letter requirement. The second solution idea is called incrementing letters by rotating index. We will start with a word of length 5, which consists of 5 A's. We will gradually change each A to B and obtain 5 B's. And then we will repeat the process of, and obtain 5 C's, 5 D's, and so on up to 5 Z's. This will generate a word list of exactly 126. And what we are doing here is incrementing each letter, but we are rotating the index of the letter that is being incremented. Because we need 5,000 words, we will actually do this for two groups of five letters. Let's separate our 10 letters into the first five and the second five. For every 126 rotations of the second group, we will rotate twice the first group. The reason that we are, rota uh, we are incrementing twice the first group is because we want to avoid getting something like four A's, one B, and then five A's, which has exactly one letter different from the, our starting point. So if we increment twice the first group, we will nicely avoid this shortcut. And because we only need 5,000 words, uh, we only need to increment the first group very few times. And you don't have to worry about uh, the, the first group exhausting all the letters. Our last type of solution is called random word generation. This is based on the fact that we have a word universe of 26 to the power of 10 possible words, which is much bigger than the number of words that we need. So here we have a very sparse selection problem and random word modification will also work. At each step, we will construct one new word letter word. We go from the last word that we have generated so far and we try to modify one letter of it. We check if our new word obtained satisfies the word letter requirement with all our previously generated words. If the new word does not satisfy the requirement, 
we will simply try another new word. This solution will take O n square time and O n space. This is because for each new word, we need to check it against all the previous words. And we will have to save all the previous words in memory. This concludes our discussion of the solutions to this problem.